I want to talk a little bit about Kamala Khan. So uh, yesterday we saw a sale of Marvel Point One second print go for just over 900 and people are wondering um, what the heck is going on. In my opinion, that sale for that book is probably fair, and here's why. Kamala Khan's first appearance is exceptionally convoluted um, within the community, but it couldn't be much more simple. And here's how it breaks out. So her first appearance of all time, or her first cameo, if you will, was in Captain Marvel number 14. Now, if you've taken the time to look at this book, what you will find is, is that she is pictured roughly from the shoulders up in one frame, um, just her face, um, not in costume. Um, if to call that a cameo would be very, very generous. Um, it's really, frankly, a nothing appearance, um, but, uh, but a lot of people have gravitated towards that as her first appearance. Uh, there's plenty of evidence to suggest that that wouldn't even be considered a cameo uh, by most standards. Um, her second appearance um, was in Captain Marvel number 17. Now in this, you get a full page of shots of her from behind, from shoulders down, you really can't make her out. It's very much a tease for um, Marvel Point One, uh, which would come out a couple months later. Uh, she is wearing um, a Captain Marvel t-shirt, this one right here, uh, but you really can't make out um, who she is. Um, uh, you see her flexing, um, but it's not um, uh, in any way, shape, or form uh, a full appearance. Um, that said, that book um, really stepped it up a notch when it, with its second printing. It put um, a full first appearance of the character on the cover of that book um, as its second printing. And that book is a modern um, ghost. It's a gem and, uh, and, and it's an important book to have. That said, uh, it's out of reach um, for most people. And, you know, a 9-8 of that should be going somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 2,000 or more at this point. Um, uh, so I, I really think her second appearance would not be what it what it is if it weren't for that book. Um, but most collectors are never going to get their hands on it. So that leaves Marvel Point One um, as her first full appearance. In this, um, there are several pages of the character, um, many of which... Um, um, show her um, in her costume, uh, lots of dialogue, um, fully visible. Um, it's without question her first appearance. Um, and um, as a result, it makes sense that collectors are starting to chase this book. Now let's talk about print run, because um, um, what are the numbers on these books? Well, the first print, which is in, in red, you can see over here, has a print run probably less than 35,000, so less than half of Ultimate Fallout 4, which means to me that if Kamala's only half as popular as Miles, those books should be trading at roughly the same price. She's going to be um, just behind him in popularity, is my opinion. Um, so the prices for uh, Marvel Point One, number one, the first print um, have material upside from here, in my opinion. Um, the second prints, forget it. Those are exceptionally difficult to find. Um, I've been looking for them for a long time. Um, I've got a couple in my collection, but um, you know everything that I've been able to research, the print runs on those are very similar to Marvel, uh, Ms. Marvel number 17, the second print, so probably sub-1500. Um, yes, they did show up in some of those five below um, packs, uh, but by and large, that book is uh, exceptionally difficult to track down, and it gets the shit beat out of it. I don't know what it is about the paper, but it picks up spine ticks very, very easily, uh, and exceptionally difficult in hydrate. Look at both these books, right? Modern books, overwhelmingly, the, um, the, the, the vast number of the graded copies are in 9.8. That is not the case for either one of these books. Um, most of the graded um, are 9.6. Um, which tells you that it's, it's tougher to get um, 
in high grade. So I can see Marvel Point One, a thousand dollars for that. If you assume that um, the second print of Seventeen is a two thousand dollar book, a thousand dollars for that in nine eight makes perfect sense to me. Um, you know, you know the other question around um, why are people speculating on Kamala Khan? Um, you know, it's not this notion that young kids are going to be nostalgic for her years down the road. Um, what it is is that she is getting her own TV show. Um, uh, she is going to be in the movies, and a new generation of, of kids are going to be attracted to this character. Um, the other day, I was talking with somebody on Instagram, um, and they're of Asian descent, and he said, I'm very drawn to this character just given my back, you know, my heritage. Um, and I, th I think that's going to be very, very commonplace. So the prices that these books are starting to fetch um, are perfectly reasonable, in my opinion, based on what's going on in the modern market. Um, we can argue whether or not the modern market has extended itself. Uh, that's a conversation for a different time. But based on what's going on right now, I think the price appreciation that you're seeing for these books um, makes perfect sense. Kamala Khan is going to be um, a big, big character for Marvel. I've talked about this on many different occasions, but there are numerous covers um, featuring um, three Marvel characters, right? Over and over and over again. If we think about... Um, if we think about uh, Champions number one, the 1 to 100 variant by, uh, by Ross, think about the characters front and center on that book. Um, the, the newest um, Champions books, think about the characters who are front and center on that. The newest Outlawed book, who are the characters front and center on that? Miles, Kamala, and Sam Alexander. Right, um, you know we can talk about this book. Um, you know we know how hot this book is, but there is Kamala, front and center. Now Sam isn't here, but you have Ruri in his place, and you know she's a star in her own right. Kamala Khan is going to be a very, very, very important part of what Marvel's doing going forward. They're telling you this, and I think grabbing her books now um, makes a lot of sense. Uh, I like the late printings um, from her first um, solo series. Uh, this is the seventh print. Uh, I believe it's the shortest printed of the bunch. I also think it's the coolest looking um, with uh, the colors and the sketch background. Um, there's also um, a 1 in 50 variant over here done by Art Adams, which I think is particularly attractive. Um, and then, you know, one of my favorites is of her new series, so this is not the original series, but I don't know, something about this cover just screams, you know, by me, um, exceptionally cool, um, with her reflection in the window there. This is a 1 in 25 variant. I'd go seek out this. There's an opportunity to grab these Kamala Khan books before um, they get out of reach, um, but people are starting to wake up to it. Um, you know, we can argue all day long um, if the modern market has run out of control, uh, but these books are, are tough are tough to come by. And I think um, what buyers are doing right now um, is is latching on to these, um, you know, characters that are going to be important um, generationally, um, both in comics uh, and on the screen. So, um, you know, the, the, these purchases make sense to me. Um, I don't I think there's a lot of value in arguing with the market. Um, the market is what the market is um, at any, at, for any given transaction um, outside of, um, you know, corrupt type transactions. Um, and we can argue all day long about those. So, you know, there are people out there who do try to manipulate, but it's, it's far less than I think, um, um, you know, people complain about. Um, you know, when a book sells at a certain price, that's what a buyer is willing to pay for it. I think we need to accept that transaction as being legit. Um, Kamala Khan, I think these books are going to continue to rise. I suspect you're going to see another sale of this second print that is going to be um, above 1000 because it's very difficult to get. And, and there's not going to be a flood of these books getting graded um, in, in 9.8. Yes, they will go up, of course. Um, but there's not going to be a, a run on them. Um, the first print was only um, uh, 34,000. Um, 
the second print is less than 1500 based on what I'm able to, to calculate. So I would jump on Kamala um, as quickly as you can uh, because, you know, these books are going to disappear and we're going to see something like Miles. Um, you know, she's going to be front and center in the new Avengers video game. Marvel is telling you, right? They're telling you that she's important, right? So let's listen to what they're saying and uh, get out there and get hunting. Thanks for listening. Um, happy to take any questions. Uh, we'll talk again soon.